Amongst the discussions of who gets long COVID is the anecdotal observation that a disproportionate number of us seem to be either type A personalities, that's people who basically can't stop doing, um, or have a prior history of trauma, or both. This trauma can be either physical or emotional, but does seem to be there for most of us uh, if you're comfortable enough with someone to talk about it. Now, it's possible, of course, that in this modern era, almost everybody has some degree of what could be labeled trauma. But I do actually think there's something to this. So what's the link between prior trauma and type A personalities? And why are they both more likely to suffer from long COVID? In this film, I talked to clinical psychologist Dr. Sally Riggs to find out. One mm -hmm. of the things that um, the chapter I'm writing at the moment, who gets long COVID and why, um, breaking yeah. it down into what the published papers say, what my patient led research says, and then what anecdotally we seem to see. And in that anecdotal yeah. category are a couple of things, type A personality and prior yeah. trauma seem yeah. to be shared by a lot of and people who suffer from there's, COVID. There's a correlation between type A personality and prior trauma. Could, so could, could, you, could, could you go into some depth on that? Yeah. Well, and, and I don't know if you saw Stephen Porges's thing for Body Politic on Monday, but he actually described it really nicely um, within his polyvagal framework, which, you know, is about safety. And um, if you have a history of trauma um, and you're thinking about those those levels of the ladder, you've you've basically hung out in fight or flight or immobilization your whole life and your body has sort of got accustomed to that. And so actually feeling safe is scary because it's been such a long time since you felt safe that your body isn't used to it. But also if you think about the ladder going from immobilization, you still have to go through a very uncomfortable level to get back to safety. And so for many people who've experienced trauma, um, I would say everybody who's experienced trauma, um, if you do something to soothe yourself, like deep breathing or yoga, you can suddenly kick off sympathetic nervous system symptoms, which are really uncomfortable and overwhelming to the body, and it will immediately just shut down and shoot you right back down into immobilization. Um, equally, and this is where the type A piece comes in, if you've had trauma, your body knows that when you stop, immobilization is coming. And so it can get into a perpetual state of sympathetic going and going and going and going and going. And that's the type A piece that you don't want to stop because, you know, immobilization is coming. And so you just keep going. And, and for many of us that, that relate to that, we know that periodically what happens is you burn out and you don't get out of bed for the whole weekend and then you start again. But it was it wasn't like none of us seemed to learn that lesson that there was something we were doing wrong or we internalized it as a self-criticism and that I needed to be more productive next time. I was not being productive in the right way. And that's where perfectionism comes from, right? If I would just be perfect, then I can fix that. Fucking hell. You've just unpacked my life. <laughs> why have I not, why have I not clocked this right? connection before? Jesus, Jesus. But Jez, I think I'm, I'm a psychologist. I've spent like how many years studying this crap? And yet still for me, this is revelatory in the last year or so too. Yeah. So, you know, that's the thing. We're just great, me too happened and we're all talking about trauma, but we're not really talking about the right bit of trauma. The important bit is not telling your story and acknowledging that millions of people have been assaulted, which they have, and that's awful. But the important bit is talking about how it affects your nervous system and how it impacts your behaviours in your life. Hope you found that discussion interesting. If you've got any burning questions you'd like answered or topics covered on the channel, then please do leave them in the comments. And if I feel like I can do them justice, I will do. Till next time.